All right, man. Um, let's talk about uh, Errol Spence. So they did a, a article in BoxerScene.com about Errol Spence not t- doing it, uh, needing tune-ups. Okay. Um, so let's speak on it real quick. It's the featured article. You see that yesterday? Uh, yesterday. So, uh, um, so Anthony Yard ducked Joshua Boatze. is crazy, bro. They can't even make simple fights in boxing that people that, that the fans want to see. Just simple shit. Which is crazy. They can't even make simple fights. These, these man, when you I mean they put the bitch in boxing. I swear to God they do these dudes today, bro. Your man, they do. So fighting words, once again, no tune-ups uh for Errol Spence. Okay. It says when they, David Greaseman, I don't never remember reading his shit. When Earl Smith steps in the ring with Fondor in October, he will be facing the triple whammy, and it doesn't even include his opponent. Spence will be fighting for the first time in 14 months, another lengthy layoff in his career that has had three other extended absences. This would be his fifth. That's a common thing for PBC fighters. This would be his fifth appearance in the past five years, another current thing with PBC fighters. He'll be coming off a technical knockout loss, which it should have been a full knockout. I have the referees not. Somebody save me. Come <laughs> on, oh, man. Somebody didn't say that ass. Uh, he said an event essentially uh, be debuting his new weight class moving. Well, it's a Terrence Crawford. We know that. Uh, essentially be moving his new weight class, moving up to junior middleweight. He's not moving up to junior middleweight. He's moving back to junior middleweight. I'm going, going back to back to 154 four it's not moving up greaseman <laughs> he's going back to 154 pounds because he looks so bad at 54 he said what's well, squeeze down to be bigger huh i'd be a lot better i'm bigger than my opponents so no i got an advantage had he stayed at 54 motherfucker be working at the qt <laughs> yep and i mean it you know so so you go out here uh, talking about a whole bunch of bullshit. You know, he said, I don't want tune-ups. I want top fights. Been said December 19th. Why I wouldn't fight again to December 2020, 14 months after the crash. Said nobody forced me to fight Danny Garcia. I could have took a tune-up, but I wanted somebody dangerous who going to keep me focused and keep me in the gym and training hard. My thing is, no matter who you fight, you should be focusing hard at training. And that's the problem in boxing. These guys... Fight once every blue moon, but that's their mentality. That's their mentality. That's their mentality, dog. Their mentality is, I'm going to get up for certain fights, but I can't get up for other fights. That's their mentality. That's why Philip Harkovich probably lost to uh to Dame Du Bois. Oh, man, he, he ain't got no chin. You know, he can't do this. He can't do that. I'm going to beat him easy and all that shit. I'm telling you. That's their mentality. That's their mentality. That's their mentality. And, it, and it's unfortunate. But no, it is what it is. He said when he was finished return, he went straight to Ugas. I did have, you know, almost two uh, career ending injuries, Spence said, uh, just before that mock batch. So, you know, I feel like I'm on borrowed time right now. So, you know, so this is just the history of him talking about tune-ups and shit. You know, you know, he's talking about Crawford took his uh his tune-up versus David, uh for David Avenesian. And he went to say, I don't believe in tune-ups. They're not my and not with my pedigree fighting someone I know I'm supposed to beat. I know in, in the showcase fight, Spence quoted as he has news in 20, 2023, and I feel like fans deserve it too. They don't want to see me fight a bum or a showcase fight. Man, my thing is this, dog. You fought a whole bunch of fights you were supposed to win anyway. Just because people in boxing got it twisted. Just because you fight guy, you fight name, name opponents, just because you fight name opponents, that don't mean they ain't lopsided victories or fights you supposed to win. Or you, you know, or competitive fights or you can lose. He fought most until he fought Terrence Crawford. Every fight he fought, he was supposed to win. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? Every fight he fought up to Terrence Crawford, he was supposed to win. Come on. 
Every fight he fought up to Terrence Crawford, he was supposed to win. So it's easy not taking the tune up. Nobody really looked at Ugas as a great opponent. Danny Garcia has wa- been always been washed as a welterweight. He's never been a top welterweight, even if they did hand him a title. So he ain't fought. He didn't. Fight. I kept telling niggas that he didn't fight no real great fighters in his show versus Terrence Crawford. They handled him with fisticuffs, with Fisher Price handcuffs, bro. And Kenny Porter, Kenny Porter said that long ago that he was being protect, protected. He said that long ago. You know, but you know, but that's gonna be his downfall. Instead of fighting once a year, instead of fighting once a year, well, how about you take a little bit less money to remain active? You know, how about you take a little bit less money to remain active? All great fighters, ain't nobody out there fighting killers every time, and neither were you. And neither were you. It wasn't killer after killer after killer after killer. It may have been named that your PBC propped up as a name brand opponent, but those dudes, man, those dudes was holier than 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 Blake Man Sock. You know, and you know, in this situation, you getting a new trainer, okay? You getting a new trainer. You coming off a long over a year layoff again. You would think he want to take some soft touch, but you know what? You know why he don't want to take a tune up because of that money. Because of that money. He don't want that money to be funny. I'm telling y'all exactly what it is. He don't want that money to be funny. He don't want to take the reduction in, in pay cut. I mean, in pay. That's exactly what it is. And that's going to be his downfall. And he know it. You know, he out here saying, well, you know, this might be my last. This might be my last fight. This might, yeah, it might be your last fight, nigga. This might be your last ride, like Vin Diesel in the Fast and Furious with Paul Walker. Cause you thinking with your, you thinking, you thinking about the money. You know, instead of thinking, instead of thinking about, uh, uh, you know, you know, your second leg of your career and how to build it up the right way. That's what you thinking. And it is unfortunate. You know? It's unfortunate. You know, it's unfortunate. But uh but he goes on, you have eight to ten week training camp. If that ain't good enough in eight to ten weeks, then shit said. Uh, Spence said, I got eight to ten weeks to prepare, spar, and get ready for a fight. I should be on point. It shouldn't take me another fight to be sharp, you know? Uh, the science of boxing says otherwise. You know? It says otherwise. So, um, and that's when the fighters stayed active, That's the, a lot of them was filler fights. But in those filler fights, it kept you sharp. You, you know, it kept you sharp. It kept you locked in, you know, um, you know, and you was able to get better and better. And a lot of these dudes lost a lot of development. A lot of these dudes lost a lot of development. A lot of development. Because when you fight that many times... We're repeti- boxing is repetitious. It's repetitious. It's repetitious. So every time you go out there, you're working on reps, you're getting better and better. And when you don't have that activity, when you don't have that activity, you don't have that repetition.
you know so that that becomes a problem that becomes a problem so you know at the end of the day bro i just look at it as um i just look at it as uh he, he messed up a lot of pbc fighters could have been a lot better than what they were you know they could have been a lot better than what they were if they stayed active If they stay active. If they stay active. So that is what it is. Um and you know, he 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 destroyed his own career along with Al Heyman. Inactivity. Um bullshit out the ring that was self-inflicted. Uh, and that's it. That's pretty much it. You know, hand, you know, handling with kitty gloves. We never really got better. He got exposed. He was never what, he, what people thought he was. And I've always said that when I found the news out, but hey, thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and the subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notification, crucial chance, get notifications. We go live or drop video financially. Want to support the channel? Cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good 313. Venmo CJ Good 313, PayPal link description, the link tree, find me on X, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, Apple Podcasts. Uh, check out the Patreon. Appreciate the love and support. Peace.